Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains, and uh, thanks for joining me for the next part in lighting my train station. Um, in this part, we're going to stop with the train station building itself. I've uh, run out of materials, so I have to run out. I haven't had a chance to go out and get what I need to, to continue. The next was going to be the stairs and the uh, escalators. So we're on hold with that. So now I'm going to move on to the platforms. And what I want to address in here are the roofs. These are the old platforms that I had on my old train station. And as you know, and we talked about this in the past, these were too narrow and I had to make custom ones and you've seen those already. But what I want to get to is these roofs and the lighting that's going to go into these. Um, so these are the old ones and what I did was I took my sprue cutters and I just cut off the roof off of the platform got rid of the platform so what we end up with what we end up with is this okay now this is you know a fair bit longer than the one that was just there um, so what I did was I added roofs together where I needed to you know and this is kind of messed up here I'll have to fix that but and I, I came up with a with a length for this. So it's seven of these long. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So it's seven long. And this goes onto the platforms. And then I cut off and I move the end caps here where they need to be. So that you know everything is together. Um, not worrying about the bottom side. I don't really care about what this all looks like. You're never going to see this unless you're sticking your head up underneath everything. Don't really care. Um, there's some stuff in here like this right here is the old uh, super glue that I used for the lights that were originally on this. I pulled all of that off. All the wiring's gone. So I, I basically stripped them down. Um, so I have three of these. So let me get a platform and we'll look at how that all fits together okay so here's the new platforms and of course you've seen these uh, and I already have the holes drilled on the bottom side the bottom end of these platforms and then these I think I've showed these before these fit into the holes like this on the platform uh, and it'll look something like this. Let me make sure I got everything in a hole. There we go. That one goes there, and that one goes there. So that all gets glued in just like this. Alright. And, let's see. There we go. Now when this gets glued down, I want to light these platforms and this is what it's going to look like. Okay. And I, I think it'll work out fine. I don't think I need to buy new platforms or anything. These will work just fine. Now in order to get these to sit down into the platform, I had to, after I cut these off with the sprue cutters, I took the legs of the platform and you can see right here where I notched the leg of, of each of these uh, legs here. I just put a small notch and that fits into the hole on the platform. So now I've got this one that's going to fit into, into this. Uh, so now we have a working roof on this platform. This all fits together just fine. Now I did put an X on one end and every every roof that I have I put an X because these line up only a specific way. If I put them together like this, they're the same length, all of the legs line up directly across. If you, if you flip one around, they don't line up no more. Okay, it's just the nature of how, how Walther's built this. They're just a little bit off from each other. So I want to make sure that those all line up. So I mark them all so I don't get them confused. It doesn't matter which end goes to the train station, which end goes to the back end. Um, as long as they all match across, we're good. Now one other thing, 
one other thing I'm going to add to this is down at this end you'll notice there's a lot of platform left after the roof here so we have a lot of platform going on still still loose so in all of this I'm going to add uh, one more thing and these are the street lights that I put up up at the top by the by the uh, train station on the road and these street lights are going to get added in right here and this is centered up between the roof and the end of the platform and these will get lit and this will take care of this whole end of the platform so those will go in there like that so that's the idea for this so why don't we move on to getting these roofs put together with the lights in there because these are a different bulb yet again that I've used so far in this whole uh, project so let me get my stuff together and we'll start adding the bulbs to the roofs and get all of that mounted in here and the wiring drawn through that whole thing alright so let's start this by notching out the bottoms of these uh, platform of uh, these uh, roof legs so all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut uh, let's see. how do I get you to there we go I'm just going to notch right up the bottom just a small bit like that and then I'm going to cut in And that's all I'm looking for. Just a little bitty notch, maybe maybe the thickness of the of the styrene that's going in there that this is going into. And I hit every one the same. Alright, so now these are all notched. And then we're going to go, what I'll do is we're going to put a little bit of CA into each of these little notch points here. A little bit of CA into each of these and then we're going to drop that into a platform. Um, I've done one already. This one has already been put together. And then I have an elastic holding the whole thing together and that's it so that's gonna sit and dry okay so let me let this dry let's let this dry and we'll come back in a little bit and we'll start doing the wiring for the lighting alright so I've glued the roofs down it's all dried now and they're on there there you go so now it, it's time to add the the lighting to these um, like I said there's gonna be light poles that are gonna go in here these um, telephone poles here telephone poles light poles these are gonna go in here so you have all of this these will fit right in here like this this way these will fit right in here like this and that'll light up the whole end of the platform all right now the lighting that's going to be different is what I'm using under these and what I'm using are these lights here you've seen these you can buy these at the hobby stores these are press and stick lights they have a little little sticky pad here and you peel it off you stick them down and they light up whatever you want to light up um, I was using them for buildings for a while but they're just I don't know they, they're not working out really well I'm, I'm using uh, I'm, I'm more moving over to using LEDs because they're easier to control than these and I can I can dim LEDs with a with a uh, resistor as opposed to these things um, 
units. So I'm going to use these on the platforms here and I'm just going to use up pretty much what I have and then I'm, I'm not going to buy more of them. So I'm doing this more to use up what I have uh, over the LEDs and they do a good job. So let me show you what that's going to look like. So here's one of the platforms and you can see I've already got three. I've only taped them in place underneath. You, you can see where they are. So I've got one, two, three. And this one's not quite in the center, but just for our purposes here, it doesn't really matter. And then I have the leads coming off. I've tied them all together. Um, and I'm going to be running these on 9 volts. And much like the, uh, the um, street lights, I have to put them on a, on, a, on a transformer or whatever you'd like to call it. I, I need to reduce the voltage from 12 volts to 9 volts. So there you go. That's, that's the lighting. And it's going to light up fairly well within the platforms. And then when we have the, the, the street light further down the platform, I, I think these are going to work out really well. So three is what we're going to use per platform. So let's take a look at how I'm going to run the wiring on that. Okay, so we're back to our bench here. Now we're going to mount these lights. So let me get this tape out of here. This is how I figured out what voltage I need to run them at and um, how many I want to use in there. So we'll get this out of here. Okay, so three of these bulbs, one, two, three. What I want to do is I count it in one, uh, so when I'm looking at these, I count it in one, two, so one is going to go right on this second one, and I counted one, two, one's going to go on this one, and then one will go right in the center here. So to mount these, all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm going to mount this so that the bulb, it's kind of hard for me to show you, but I'm going to glue this bulb centered right up in this platform here, right up in this first bay right here like this. And I'm going to use some CA to hold that down. I'm going to glue the wires in place and the whole thing and just keep everything so the wires come straight back to this first upright okay so let me get some CA in there and we'll start with that Now, unfortunately, I gotta kind of hold it for a little bit until that really. I'm using a thick CA, so it takes a minute to dry. And I'll just continue down, and I'll glue all of these in place. So when I get all these glued in, I will come back and show you what all that looks like. Okay, so all of our glue down here is dried up. You can see our lights are all in there. Now we have to deal with all of these wires here. We gotta get these all taken care of so they're not on top of the platform. And what we're gonna do is I have my pin vise here. I'm gonna drill a small hole right next to each one of these posts where the lights are. So I'm gonna start drilling a hole here. Okay. So we have a hole in there now, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tweezers here, and we're going to, well, maybe I can just poke them in there. We just want to get the wires up through the holes, like this. And we're going to thread those up. So we have something like this under here. And then I'm just going to take these wires, line them up on the post, and pull them down. 
like this. I'm going to push them tight into the into the corner like that. And then we're going to put some CA on top of that to hold that in place and that's going to be it and we got to do this for each one of these um, all three platforms so all the wires are coming out the bottom so I'm going to put the CA on this one and get this one going and we'll move on to the next one So what we're going to end up with is this, like that. And then I'm going to run some more right up the post here. I'm going to glue them right to the post on all three lights. Alright, so now all this stuff is dried, the platforms are in. And you can see we ran the wires down, down the posts here. Um, there you go. And they, they, they look pretty good. You can't really see them. Um, we'll take care of the red wires later on. I'm going to, we'll just paint over these the same color as the platform posts. They'll be invisible at that point. Now we need to take care of all of these wires on the back side. I have three sets of wires, so that's six wires sticking out of here. I don't want to deal with that many wires underneath the layout. So we're going to thin that down to just two wires. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut off a bunch of this wire. Like that. Just like that. We don't need any of that other wire. This is all we need. Okay. We'll stand that up nice. Now, back to our copper tape. This is the stuff we've been using everywhere. Okay. So we're going to take a length of this and we're going to run it from one end to the other like this. And I'm going to cut this off. And now I'm going to run that down. I'm going to run another strip down the other side. Like that. So that should be pretty good just like that. Now we're just going to strip off the ends and the way I'm going to do these, I'm going to do the reds to the side closest to me. It doesn't really matter which side goes to which. The incandes incandescent bulbs, they, um, they can go any way you want them. You, you don't have to worry about polarities, but I like to keep everything the same just, just because if later on something arises I can, I can figure out what's going on. Now I'm just going to strip off the ends and I'm just going to melt the plastic uh, insulation right around the bottom here and just pinch off the end like that. Alright, so now we've got those all, all stripped off. Now I'm just going to put a small pad of solder on the strip right next to each one of those. Alright, so just like that. So now you can see this whole thing coming together. Right there. Now we're just going to bend over these wires and line them up and put them into the solder and 
and just to hold that down I'm just gonna take a my knife here and just hold that right onto the right onto the wire And there we go. So now all the wires are soldered in, like that. Now we need a, a power source um, right here as a lead. So I have, I'm gonna use red and black because I just happen to have a couple of scraps of wire. And just laying these on here like this and letting them fall, you risk the chance of yanking this when you drop them through the layout. So I'm gonna make a, a holder for this wire. I have some extra styrene, this is out of my scrap box. And I'm just gonna measure it across. Like I said, not getting crazy, I'm just gonna mark it by eye. Okay, so this will fit in here like this. And you can see it's not going all the way down at the front half, but in the back half it's, it's flat. Um, that's okay because the wires are going to go under that. So what I need to do now with my pin vise is I need to cut a, drill a couple of holes in the end. So now we have this. All right, and then we're gonna take the wire, and strip, stripped an end of this. We're just gonna pass it through like this and fold it over like that. Do the same with the black wire. Push that through and fold it over like that. So now we have two leads. Now these are gonna fit right in here. So now we wanna put another pad of solder on the strip like that. And then we wanna tin the ends of the wire like that. So now we can take this wire and solder it right into the right into the copper pads. Like that. Now we have our leads soldered right in there. Now we want to glue this in. And the only reason I solder it before I glue this in is the glue, the glue is a little bit flammable and I don't want to burst into flames while I'm doing this, so we glue it after. So now we we'll take some of this glue. The last step is we're going to take a little bit of CA and we're going to run that right down the holes where the wire goes just to drop on each. And I'm going to spread that around each one because I want it to kind of go down in the hole a little bit. not worried about neatness or anything just want it to in there to hold that now we can strip off the ends of our wire here and this is ready to be hooked up right here and there we go all of our lights are lit up all three of them and that's it and we have one set of leads so I do this for all three platforms and then I only have three sets of wires instead of nine to deal with and it's a heavier wire 
um, than the wire that came on the lights. So it's easier to deal with under the layout for hookups. Um, so that's it. That's the whole thing. And then when I do the uh, the street light here, when I do this light down at this end of the platform, we're going to do that underneath the same way. We're going to wire the, the sets of lights onto copper strip underneath here and then have a main power leads like we have at this end coming off of that. And I'll do those in a different color so from underneath I know what they are. And these will come down and it'll be a heavier set of wires instead of these little, little tiny things here. And those will be hooked in the same way. Just like we did the street lights on the roadway on the station above on the roadway. Um, the street lights on the platforms will be done the same way. And, and that's it. It's very simple. Uh, no need to get wild and crazy about it. And that's it. Now these are ready to be installed on the layout. Um, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I, I, hope, I hope I showed you something. Maybe I did something wrong. You can tell me about it. But um, it works for me. And it's very simple. Nothing difficult about it. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. If, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, what are you waiting for? Please go subscribe to my channel. Um, follow along and, and, and watch me build my layout and, and, you know, see what's up. If you haven't visited my website yet, it's mikestrains.wordpress.com. Um, you can see pictures of my layout and things like that going on over there. So until, until next time, happy modeling.